Our third step in performing our cross-country flight planning involves obtaining the pressure altitude. Now we decided on an altitude of 5,500 for crews, but we need our pressure altitude to go to the performance charts to pull out the numbers that we'll need to calculate out our plan. The flight service station briefer gave us a pressure of 3042 and standard pressure remember is 2992. So we get the difference between the two which is 0.5. Remember we have to multiply this by 1000 feet or we can just simply move the decimal three places, one, two, three, so we end up with a 500 foot difference. This air is thicker, the pressure is high, the air is heavy. So where do we find heavy, thick air? We find that down lower. So even though we're going to fly at an altitude indicating 5,500, the airplane is gonna perform as if it's 500 feet lower than that today due to this higher pressure. So our pressure altitude for our uh, cruise performance will end up being 5,000. And for our takeoff, our pressure altitude will be 1,048 field elevation minus 500 for our pressure altitude correction. So our pressure altitude for our departure will be 548 feet. That's the pressure altitude for our takeoff. This will be our pressure altitude for the cruise portion. Now for our landing in Columbia, Columbia, South Carolina is 236 feet. So if we subtract 500 off of that, obviously we get a negative number. So we're just gonna call that sea level.